Okay. Hi, my name is Miracle and I attend Northwest High School. Give me a rhyme. You sound white. Now that I think about it, you act white too. What percent white are you? Actually, I'm 100% black. I don't have another ethnicity's blood running through my veins. I'm black. I have the Capri Sun and the Kool-Aid from the picnics and the family reunions piercing through my body. Then they asked me, why do you talk like that? You mean talk proper? I'm sorry, that's the way I was raised. I don't ground sing an inappropriate grammar. You feel me, dog? That's spelled D-O-G, my bad, D-A-W-G. But I wake up to go to a school that at times I hate because I have to sit next to kids who pass hate back and forth like I'm not sitting right there because they don't see me, I'm a joke to them. I go to classrooms where every day is the first day after sitting between kids who tell me that I'm not good enough. No, I'm not black enough. I grew up in the ghetto across from the projects where gunshots led the sky like stars, but they wouldn't know that because I'm built white like black people are built with guns in their hands. I get out the ghetto and y'all judge me for that, but that wasn't my choice. If your mom died in the house you lived in, I don't think you'd want to stay either. Y'all judge me based on the way I talk, because I don't talk ghetto. I don't go around singing inappropriate grammar. I don't steal cars with y'all, sell drugs with y'all, so I have to be white. But you will not tell me what I am or what I can't be because I'm black. No, I'm sorry, because I'm white. Stereotypes have been taken to level two. You don't judge me based on my skin anymore, so you think that somehow that makes you better and that you have rose up from the ashes and that you're not racist now. I can't be smart because I have to make my living off of a hood rat, but which one is it? Be the best black woman I can be and prove that we're more than just gangs and drugs or fall into the stereotype and get pregnant right before I graduate. But let me tell you something. I will graduate, I will walk across that stage with my cap and my gown, and I will not have a belly. I am a flower that can rise from the forest fire and grow from the ashes. But yet, a line I often hear is, you're pretty for a black girl. Well, if I was this so-called white girl you perceive me, would I be pretty for a white girl or would I just be pretty? Because the last time I checked, that wasn't a compliment. You put me into this box because you don't see me closed, sealed, no questions asked. Goodbye. Black Lives Matter, you say? Well, I guess mine doesn't.